Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about local file inclusion vulnerability. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. And guys, really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below and if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, uh, without getting any deal, let's start. And this is regarding local file inclusion vulnerability. So what you can do with this vulnerability is like you can view a lot of uh, what you call more sensitive information. See what happens is like guys all the websites uh, or the web applications are hosted on some servers right so these servers are nothing but linux or windows okay so they consist of some lot of uh, information like log files okay and some configuration files so configuration files in the sense like uh, which consists of some passwords or uh, hashes any everything like that and also some uh, os files so example etc password is etc shadow like i'm telling only this for linux but there are some uh, files like shadow files or uh, files for even for linux uh, what you call for windows as well and for other operating systems as well so with the help of this vulnerability you can uh, try to view some confidential data and uh, this is going to be really severe because you can find out some sensitive information like logs etc like that so how you can find out that so you need to find out a url stuff like this so http uh, colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 uh, and uh, something like uh, uh, index uh, dot html question mark page equals to config dot php so this is like a sample url guys so you can see that there is a parameter here called as page so you need to find out some a uh, url which consists of a parameter and which uh, which looks for something like a file or anything like that so what you can do is like you can try to inject your payload so payload in the sense don't go a bit deeper so a small payloads only like uh, uh, etc slash password or anything like that and you can try to view the information if there is a possibility like we all know that bug bounty is all about bug bounty almost all the cyber security part is all about hit or try so you can view it you can view that or you cannot view that okay and also one important thing that you, you can find useful is like uh, you might be seeing a payloads which comes of dot dot slash so dot dot slash in the sense it is nothing uh, like uh, cd space dot dot so I'll tell you what this means. So CD space dot dot in the sense like you come one step uh, backward from directory. So let me go to my Kali. Let me show you this thing uh, in a practical manner. And uh, so this is my Kali next with undercover mode. So if you might see why this is uh, why it is like Windows. So you can see it is an undercover mode. So let us go to something like this. Uh, Okay, so let us assume that we are in this particular directory. So when you do a CD space dot dot, so you come a, a directory backwards. You don't come directly to the root folder, but you come a step backward. And again, if you do CD space dot dot, you come one step backward once again. So CD space back uh, dot dot, you come one step backward here again. So if you do an LS here, you can find out all the files here. Okay, so how you can create a payload? Let us assume that your uh, web application or the file that you are looking for, or by default all the uh, web files are in this particular directory. Then how you can do it? Simple. Uh, you can simply add something like this dot dot slash dot dot slash. So we need to come uh, three times one two three times here. Okay, uh, three times so and etc slash password okay uh, so let's do that okay let's do that i'll show you the live example here once again uh, so let's go back to the uh, folder once again and uh, cat dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash etc slash password if you, you can see that even though we are in this particular directory we are able to see the password file here or etc password which consists of some users and stuff so that is uh, the important thing that you'll find out here. So this thing, uh, remember this part, or oh, this is really imp important here. And also guys, you can find out different payloads. So I'm only taking ETC password for the example here. You can go with shadow. You can look some different configuration files. There are a lot of stuff that you can see in Linux. So it can be even log files or anything like that. Okay. So now let's dive to the part 
the practical part so let me have my kali machine here uh, let me close this thing so i only shown that for the example uh, let me close my browser and everything so here i'm having metasploit tool here so we all know and also in the next video if there is a possibility i will try to show this on a live website or if there is a possibility i will try to share the report that i uh, uh, recently reported or the poc that i recently reported if there is a possibility okay so let me open my browser here uh, so 192. Dot, uh, yeah, this is my IP address. So meta exploitable. So I'll be going with DVWA. So admin and password. I think I'm wrong. Yeah, wrong. So let's uh, set the security to low uh, by default. And let me click submit here. And let's go to the file inclusion here. So the advantage that I'm taking here with the DVW is like guys, uh, it is awesome because you can even view the source code. So which uh, if you're trying to do this stuff on practically, then you might not view the source code. So that's the reason I'm taking this DVW. Not only me, every person uh, do that. So you can see we got the source code guys. It is simple. So we are uh, here. You can see there is a parameter called as page here. So we'll be injecting the parameter and it is doing nothing. Okay, it is doing nothing there. It is simply uh, getting the page. So there is no kind of uh, sanitization or whitelisting, blacklisting going on over here. So what you can simply do is like uh, you can simply do slash etc uh, slash password and uh, you can find out the files here. So you can see that by simple uh, inclusion of this thing, we got the file here. So if you can view the source code. Uh, Let's view the source code in the source code. You can see guys, uh, you can see the data that we got here. You can copy this data. You can report to them or you can do various stuff. And even you can also go for shadow or any other files that you want to look for. And now guys, we are in the medium security. And now let's try, if you try to do, if you try to simply inject ETC password, it is not going to work because there is some kind of validations going on. If you can view the source code. So what we need to do is like, let us add a dot dot slash or let's try for dot dot slash and let's see anything we can find. Okay. So let me hit enter. So guys, if you can see, you can see a kind of error here because uh, dot dot slash is not working. And here you can see we are right now in this particular directory. Uh, let me copy this thing. Uh, we are in this particular directory. So index.php uh, that the server is showing us is in this particular file. So in order to view the uh, etc password, we need to go uh, one, two, three, four, five directories back, uh, backward. Okay. So let's construct the payload. It is simple guys payload. You can't even call this as payload. Like uh, if you came from, if you come from something like a skill injection or cross site scripting, you can't even consider this as a payload. It is simple. You can add dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot slash dot dot slash. It's five times because we are in this fifth directory F5 kind of thing. So like this, if you can, uh, sometimes it will show guys here, like it is not available here, but what you can do is like, you can go something like brute force. You can add one, then you can add two, a uh, two dot dot slashes, like, et cetera, like that. And sometime you might get it or you might not get it. Okay. That's dependent. Okay. You can simply throw a brute force or a burp suit intruder attack and you'll be good to go. Okay. Uh, so this is our payload that we are we have constructed so let me copy this thing uh let me paste this to the end of this page uh let's inject this to the parameter let me hit enter now we got the file okay so that is what happened here right so what we did is like we uh, played with the parameter so by default in the medium settings we will be not getting etc password like if you by default if you give etc password it won't come so we need to go to some directories backward and you need to uh, fetch the uh, file that you want to so if you can simply google guys like uh, 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 linux uh, config files okay uh, and path like you can add uh, path kind of thing so you can find out a lot of stuff here so etc directory is found for that uh, you can look for the config files etc like that you can read any of these websites and you can try to find out and you can try to fetch the information here and even this uh since the meta exploitable is linux based so you can even look for the windows okay uh windows also if it is windows based you can uh, try to inject some stuff here 
and that will work now let's take a step forward and let's go to the dvws security here and let me put this to uh, high and let me submit that and now let's go to the file inclusion once again it won't work guys like even though you add dot dot slashes or anything it won't work because the source code is a bit stronger here so okay uh what happens is like it is only looking for index.php it is whitelisting here okay only the file if the uh, parameter is asking for include.php only it will show or else it won't show so this is something called as whitelisting so that comes to the part of mitigation so okay so mitigation is simple uh you can simply whitelist okay or you can simply encapsulate the data so that's a different thing but whitelisting is pretty simple anyone can do that okay you can uh, whitelisting in the sense like you can add a simple if condition here and you are good to go so that is how you can mitigate this guys and uh, coming to what this attack can do as we discussed earlier so it is going to it can view almost all the sensitive data and uh, that's it in the means of sensitive data you can do a lot with the sensitive data like configuration files log files okay even if there are some kind of remote command injection is also uh, possible let us assume that the developer wrote some script called as assume assume it okay a script to wipe data okay so since we are able to view that so you can simply run that stuff and you can wipe that whole data as well so that's like escalation part so that is it guys for this video i hope this video is will be helpful for you and if you want to uh, see more kind of these videos uh, do subscribe to the channel and also uh, if you want to give me any suggestions for the future videos do mention them in the comment section i will do check them out and i will try to do them and uh, that is it guys for this videos if you really uh, like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are into this stuff so this is Atvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.